the Quran assumes that at this time that Bible was preserved, then you've been refuted. Whoa. This is really bad. Is the Bible preserved? And does the Quran confirm the authenticity of the Bible? The Muslims unanimously agree that the Bible is corrupted, but do they go against the Quran? Let's analyze the claim of this Christian to learn more about the subject. Your brothers here, they claim that the Bible was corrupted. Pardon me? Your brothers claim the Bible was corrupted. They so do your brothers, I was just talking to John and he said that the, some, some parts of it, you don't need to believe in it. The builder, right? I don't care about it. I'm talking uh, about your brothers. Yeah, so do your brothers though. You have to be fair. Some of the Christian scholars say that the biblical, scho uh, biblical text has been corrupted. Christian scholars and Bible scholars already admitted that the Bible is corrupted and needs restoration. For example, Bruce Metzger was an American Bible scholar and is considered as an authority in textual criticism. He wrote a book called The Text of the New Testament, Its Transmission, Corruption and Restoration. As the title of the book claims, the Bible is a corrupted book. But the fascinating thing is that the corruption didn't start late. Origin of Alexandria is one of the most respected church fathers. He was born in 185 AD and died in 253 AD. According to Bruce Metzger, Origen said, the differences among the manuscripts of the Gospels have become great, either through the negligence of some copyists or through the perverse audacity of others. They either neglect to check over what they have transcribed or in the process of checking, they lighten or shorten as they please. The corruption of the Bible is a well-established fact that is impossible to deny. I know you all disagree as well. But if the Quran assumes that at this time that Bible was preserved, then you've been refuted. Yeah, okay. Logically, yeah. right? Okay. Now I know you disagree. That's what I'm going to. Yeah. I open Surah 5. It is a misconception that the Quran is confirming the Bible or the New Testament. This Christian, sorry to say, ignorantly is trying to claim that the Quran is asking the Christians of today to judge by the New Testament. If we read Quran 5 verse 47, let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are defiantly disobedient. It doesn't say nowhere in this verse the New Testament or the Bible. It speaks about the gospel a singular text and specifically it speaks about the gospel of Jesus Christ peace be upon him. Sadly we don't have it in its original form anymore and the verse is speaking about the people of the gospel and according to Tafsir al-Qurtubi it means the people at the time of the gospel and not now because now the Injil or the gospel even if we have it in its original form it is abrogated and the Christians and the Jews are ordered to follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last and final prophet. It's funny to me that the Christians keep assuming that the Bible was before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes, Jesus, peace be upon him, was before Muhammad, peace be upon him. And Moses, peace be upon him, was way before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But is the text that we have in the King James Version of the Bible before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I realize that some of the information I present on my videos are shocking to many Christians and some Muslims, and they heard it for the first time. So let me shock you even more. The Old Testament in the King James Version of the Bible is based on the Masoretic text. This is a well-known fact. The question now, what is the Masoretic text and when was it written? Simply, the Masoretic text is the Hebrew text of the Old Testament, and its name is based on the textual tradition of the Jewish scholars, known as the Masorets. And the mission of those rabbis was to correct the fault that had crept in the Old Testament during the Babylonian captivity. They started writing the Masoretic text during the 6th century and completed in the 10th century at Talmudic academies in Babylon and Palestine. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was born in 571 and died peace be upon him in 632. So they finished writing the Old Testament 600 years after the death of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. You may be shocked and you're hearing this for the first time, but uh, that's the reality. Did you ever hear the term Tikkun Soferim? If not, then you may want to watch this video where I go in details how the rabbis changed the Jewish scriptures. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.